What's up everybody and welcome to another video on Christmas Select Fan. It's been a long time uh, with no activity uh, at my channel, uh, but uh, I was for fun in the the channel and uh, I saw my other uh, back reaction actually is, uh, is my highest reaction uh, viewed and highest video in general now. So I was like, okay, and I got a suggestion. This should be uh, organ madness. Has a Caragilla and Fuguri in C minor, BVV. And this time it's played by a guy. I will also like to watch um, the other song I watch. Um, yeah, you know, doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo. I can never spell it, man. <laughs> it's hard to spell. Uh, I will also watch that uh, played. So this time we, we're gonna see it played. So let's go, man. I, this, this is truly my first reaction. I only know the other song. I have never heard this one before. So. We might see how it's gonna be. Okay. Stop with some feet. Very dark. Very deep. <laughs> okay. Shit. A little bit up. Okay, let me stop it there. Already, let me say, it's very different from the other piece because this is more, it's, both of them are really dark. This is more uh, a song, if you know what I mean. It, it is a piece, but it have a beat, like the bass, just keep the beat uh, with the feet. Uh, where the other song is more complicated and more fast and just like a heavy, heavy metal song compared to a rock song, which is more simple and easy to for know. Uh, experienced uh, musicians to understand, right? Uh, that's that's what I feel here. But let's see if it goes off. I really love that. Very beautiful. Mm. 
Okay, let me stop it again. I don't... Okay, it seems very long. I hope... I really hope uh, it changed like the other song did because... It's not because it's boring. I really love organ and I love that uh, we hear all the time the bass with the feet. I really love that. You know, I love bass, so that makes sense. Where the other song, we only hear some kind of bass sometimes. Uh, but we have a lot of chains, a lot of stops, tempo chains, uh, which I really like. This going over and over and over again, the same pattern. And I will not say it's get boring, but I, I really, it's more... I was expecting more a change, like uh, I'm, you know, I'm a rock dude, so I'm more like, okay, that's the intro, and then it's changed. But of course, there's no drum beat, there's no nothing, so it's pretty hard to to do that. I understand that. Uh, I I really like it. I really like the beat, um, but it's hard for me to hear the piece. It's just a lot of like you know, right? Um, so uh, I think the the intro the most so far and. We will see. I'm I'm hundred percent honest. I see a lot of reaction videos. Oh, it's so good, and I I will not say it if I don't like it. Uh, so far, it's 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 okay. Uh, I was. I hope it changes. So let's see. Very impressive feet playing there. Oh, that sounds good. I like this. So this is kind of a break now. We don't have any bass line. It's more going up and down. It has some beautiful piece in here. I really like that a lot. That's That sounds really good. And and the, the cool bass riff uh, with the feet before was really good too. Especially when it gets to the deep one. Dun -dun -dun. That was that was really good. Uh, so it's getting better, if you ask me. Uh, can we... Oh, just go a little bit back here. Gotta set a hot key. Let's go. <sighs> okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. Some bright light playing up there. Like the little song. I dig that. It's great. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Very fast. What was the feet doing there? I try not to pause it too much. We have a break again. Okay, let me pause it. So, one of the big difference I mentioned here uh, from the other song, you know, I can never spell it right, to, uh, to beta in D minor, you know you know the song, man. Yeah. One of the big difference here is that song always stop and change. Like, uh, it, it ends on a big chord and then it's stop. They do it like seven, eight times in the song. This songs keep going. We have some switch here. We have some lighty. We was up and play some uh, calm here and lighty stuff uh, with the notes, and we have some dark stuff. We have some fast patterns, uh, special for the hands there. He was really fast. He's playing really good, um, but uh, it's keep going all the time. There's no like uh, stop, and I, I didn't say it like is a bad thing. It's just I just mentioned the difference because I only know. Uh, the other song uh, from from Bragg's uh, piece, I think, might be the only one I know. Uh, so that's a big difference. Um, I do like it. I do like it, uh, and I see where where it goes now. Uh, so let me see. Back to the last of it. Okay, also to mention, I don't know anything about these uh, feet playing organs here. Uh, I have only tried one time myself. Uh, it was pretty funny. But, okay, I can see now. I, I hear that he playing uh, is in C minor. So it makes sense that uh, he can play. You can see here, the C here, this is a C. And that's the lowest note he have on this. So this is really nice because on the other song it was D. So we only have the the low D here. We have the C, which is even deeper. Uh, and I really love deep uh, notes, low notes. So um, that's cool. I really love that sound of the C. I have never heard that before on a church organ. So that sounds really, really, really nice. The C one here, right? So that's just one thing to mention. I have ne never really looked much into this. Maybe we can see it. Why dance? Oh, it ends on, on a D? Okay. Interesting. Some really hard feats going on now.
Yeah, he's playing some high notes with his feet. Impressive. Maybe I can hear, maybe it was from feet all the time. Sorry if I make mistakes. Two feet again. Yeah, he don't read. Uh, he don't look. He read and play. Yeah, that's the feed again. I smell the ending. Okay, God. <laughs> good, good, good. Beautiful pipe organ. Church organ. Okay, okay, okay. That's I understand. First at all, I wanna say there is two point of my uh you can say review of this uh feedback. Uh do I like it? Yes. Do uh, I and also as a, how I like it and how I think the the difficulty of this and, and time it was uh written uh, in and stuff right and in that time this was a truly amazing piece uh, but I also want to point out uh, I understand why the other piece is more popular and more well known because this is great and I really love the the, the bass uh, you know I really love that 
uh, I think there was more stuff going on there uh, with the uh, defeats and stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's harder on Haynes because both songs uh, sounds uh, really hard to play for me. Um, but um, I I must be honest and say I like the other one more because it's more easy to understand and more easy to listen to because it's only organ you have. You have some bass with your feet and stuff. Uh I don't know if it's longer or what it is, but uh, but I will also say about it, uh, there was some nice point in the song, uh, at, uh, and wipes are never get in the other song, uh, some f- uh, f- fast uh, bass going on, there was the riff, uh, of course, but here there was some really, really nice bass uh, going on. And uh, some very very fast uh, thrill, uh, and we also hear we hear more uh, more the light uh, on the tree uh, stage. He playing the you know that was one two three um, keys, and uh, they are very uh, bright and light. Uh, call me and what do you call it, right? Uh, and that that was amazing because here we heard more and the other song it was more a little up and down. There wasn't much more dark, um, so. Um, so overall, it's a great song, but uh, it's a song I not will uh, you know listen to like on a Spotify uh, playlist party stuff or whatever. But I think I will not do that with the other one. So let's just say in general, this was amazing, uh, especially at the time it was uh, written by. Uh, so thank you so much for requesting it. Uh, I think why not do a reaction to it. So leave more reactions below and uh, see you next time, guys. Bye.